Meanwhile, Knesset Speaker Yuli Edelstein is doing his best now to make sure that Israel does not go to an election for a second time in a year. As last week, Edelstein came up with a legal loophole to cancel the September 17th election, but he encountered a lot of pushback from critics accusing him of not sticking to the law and of proposing the idea just to protect Prime Minister Netanyahu. Though still, Edelstein is holding firm to his stance, saying that if Israel goes to the polls again, it may find itself needing yet another election. And that would be three elections for those at home keeping score. So speaking at the Israel Disciplinary Center Security Conference in Herzliya, Edelstein said that canceling elections now is better for Israel and would save the country billions of shekels. Further, Edelstein also criticized the newest player in the election political saga, former Prime Minister Ehud Barak, calling him the most defeatist and failed Prime Minister in the history of the State of Israel. Barak, however, said that Edelstein's ploys to cancel new elections are not altruistic. But rather, Barak alleged that Edelstein is pushing this plan so that he can become president once Rivlin steps down. At any rate, no matter what Edelstein's intentions are, to cancel this new election, he'd need 80 MKs to sign off on it. And considering we're now living in an era where Israeli politicians can't seem to agree on anything, getting 80 signatures is a tall order. Then as for Israel Beitenu's Avigdor Lieberman, aka the man responsible for preventing Netanyahu from forming a coalition in the first place, his latest tactic is to make those on the right understand that Blue and White's Benny Gantz is not a leftist. So speaking on Israeli radio, he said that there's no real difference between Netanyahu and Gantz, and that a unity government must be formed for the sake of the country, a centrist unity comprised of the Likud, Blue and White, and Israel Beitenu, excluding, of course, the Haredi parties. Although Lieberman initially said that he wouldn't sit with Gantz, meaning he's changing his tune, and it's a wonder if anyone else will be following suit.